Welcome back to the series. In the last video, we were able to scaffold the project, add the various files for the front end and for the back end as well. In this video, what we are going to do is to generate dummy data to work with. The dummy data for the post, for the categories, and for the users as well. So what we're going to do now is to use the factory to generate dummy data, dummy users, dummy posts, and dummy categories so that we can eventually write our backend codes to manipulate this data. So let's do that right away. Where we need to go to is the seeds because that's what we want to do. Before we can do anything here, as you can see, this is like an example for us to use this and recall whatever the database seeder is. But we are not doing this now. So what we do is use this one. Okay, inside the user factory, there's something provided for us. So let's try to use that and then just extend it. Yeah. So I have name, I have email, verified password. Okay, I think this one works just fine. So I'll copy this one and make another one. And I want to call this category, category class. It's just going to return the name because that's what I specified in the database. And then I use another one, the third one which will be the posts. I've not created these models yet. Please, you guys should remember to tell me that I should create the model so that I don't forget, okay? So on the post, because the post has category ID as a foreign key, first of all, uh, I need to take care of that. Category ID and this will return a function. return a function factory of the category class now create id okay I'll do the same thing for user ID. This will be on user. Yeah. Then this time around, title, because we need a title. Then we can call the faker. Just give it some sentence. Yeah. Is this description faker paragraph? Yeah. And this photo will take every post has a photo photo what come on this is image URL okay yeah thanks guys uh, you just reminded me to create the model okay okay so let me quickly create that Model posts. Okay. Category. Okay. So there we have it. Now we can come and scaffold this and make it work. So in here, we can call factory post. Yeah, that was brilliant from Visual Studio Code. Just added it for me, like like so. 
So class, I give this term create. Okay. I'll do this for category as well and user. Okay. Just create then stuff. Now let's try to run the command that will generate this dummy data. It's php at san db seed. Okay, and there is a problem. Unable to locate factory with the name app posts. Okay. Okay. This has not been added, so just import the class and put the class for category as well. Class is imported already. Okay. So let's run that again. Okay, and database seeded completely. Okay, now let's go to the DB and see what's going on there. Okay, as you can see, the categories we have 20 categories and posts you have 10. Yeah, and users also you have 20 users so we can work with these users we can work with these categories and we can work with these posts okay in our next video we're going to work with this data to start manipulating them show them on the admin side and then display them on the front end see you in the next